award-winning natural bodybuilder and international executive chef Ramel Griardi shares his best recipes for building strength. Sports performance trainer and nutrition expert Joe Arco coaches us through the nutritional components of those recipes and shares his knowledge working with professional athletes. Most people don't think of incorporating hamburgers and fries into their muscle building diet and you know what, I don't blame them. A typical quarter pound large fry meal at a fast food restaurant will give you 1200 calories and 60 grams of fat. That is a lot. That is way too much. For a 120 pound woman, that's the entire caloric needs for the entire day. And for a 200 pound male, that's more than half of what you need for the entire day with two ingredients. Two ingredients, that's... The hamburger and the fries. That's a lot. Now what are we going to do today? We're going to do the fat hamburgers three different ways and three different types of meats. What kind of meats are we going to use? We're going to start off with uh, extra lean ground chicken, extra lean ground beef, and some salmon. Salmon burgers? Salmon burgers. I've never had salmon burgers, but you know what? Thanks to this guy right here, I'm going to guarantee those are going to taste fantastic. You know what? We have burgers. Of course, we have to have our fries, right? Of course. Now, how are we going to make fries low fat? First of all, we're going to have sweet potato fries and we're going to bake them. Now the baking process is how we're going to save a lot of fat. Typically, a large fry at a fast food restaurant will give you about 30 grams of fat. So that deep frying really packs in a lot of fat and kills a lot of the nutrients in the potato. So we're going to bake these instead of frying to make these a lot healthier. We're going to use some different ingredients to pop the flavors in these fries here. What are we going to do? We're going to add a little bit of cinnamon. Now cinnamon is a great spice to add when you're using some carbohydrate sources. Reason being is that cinnamon helps really reduce the blood sugar response of the carbohydrates of the sweet potato. So as you're eating the sweet potatoes and the blood sugar levels start to rise, the cinnamon will help counteract that and keep blood sugar levels more normal. And a little bit of maple syrup. Now that's going to add some nice sweetness, but not only that, but maple syrup is a great immune booster as well. We're going to do a touch of oil. Now what's the oil for in this? Just to help it from sticking and also to give it a little bit more crispiness. Okay. A little bit of oil. Always, always, always season your little food. seasoning. Now the sweet potatoes here, about 100 grams of sweet potatoes is pretty low cal as well. It's only going to be about 120 calories per 100 grams. So our oven is now preheated. I'm At assuming 350, which is the universal preheating of every food that we make. And roughly for 20 minutes. Okay, now that's going to be perfect time. That 20 minutes will allow us to prepare our burgers, cook our burgers. So by the time we're done that, these will be ready. So I mean, quite a wonderful dish in under 25, 30 minutes. It's actually a great dish and it's low calorie as well Now too. what I've noticed here as well is that Chef Ramel's done a fantastic job at kind of cutting these all to a universal size. Now or why have you done what's that? What's called a batonette. It's going to leave it to cook a lot more evenly, Joe. Now whether you're using sweet potatoes or any other vegetables as well, it's very important to make sure that you cut everything at pretty much the same size so the cooking process is the same so you're not burning some pieces and leaving other pieces raw. We're going to place this in our oven right now. Okay. So again, that's going to go in there for about 20 minutes. Now let's start with the meat of the matter. Okay, let's grab our extra lean ground beef. Okay, now extra lean ground beef is about three times less fat than regular ground beef. So we're going to save a lot of fat here by using extra lean ground beef. Now what's the common problem though when we're using extra lean ground beef and you're making burgers? There's no moisture in there, there's no... It gets a little dry. Exactly. Now what are we going to do? I know you got a little secret weapon, you always do. How are we going to moisten this up a little bit? My secret weapon for this one is actually silken tofu. So we're going to add a little bit of extra protein with the tofu. Now what is the tofu going to do with this? It's going to make it more moist okay. and it's going to give you a lot more flavor as well too. Excellent. So you want to start mixing this up or we're going to add some more stuff? We're going to add a little bit more stuff. First of okay. all, an egg. Another 9 grams of protein. And we're going to add a little bit of Worcestershire. Nice flavor. Exactly. Some salt and pepper. I'm glad you said that because I always screw up that word, Worcester. Worcestershire, yeah. Worcestershire. So some salt and pepper goes in here. And our my my typical bind that I always have is a little bit of uh, 12 grain bread. Now what do you mean by a bind? A bind. Uh, your eggs and your bread is going to be your bind for this one. So it kind of keeps everything together. Exactly. Now what did you just use there? Almond milk. Now if you're not a big dairy fan and you don't drink a lot of milk or use those in any of your cooking, a soy milk, almond milk, or even a rice milk will do. We had some almond milk on hand, so we use that. Now am I going to start blending this together? Yeah, start binding that all together. Now why do I always get stuck with the dirty work here? <laughs> because I feel like you you're like working here. with your hands there. Now why don't you grab the about maybe about a four ounce portion and make it a little bit of a burger. A little quarter pound burger. Exactly. Now how often do you eat beef in your diet? I eat beef usually when I'm uh, loading up for I mean either fat up. load or, car or carb load. I'll eat my beef. Now is that kind of like a competition term? Yeah, competition term. Okay. 
Now, what do you mean by a carb load or a fat load? Before my competition, I like to load up with a little bit more fat. And what does that do for you? Because I deplete a lot of my fats in my diet. So what it does, it actually increases the size of my muscle. So it kind of pumps you up. Beautiful, Joe. Okay. So. Why don't you wash up? And now what we're going to do is we're going to make the salmon burger now. We're going to add a little bit of capers and a little bit of dill. Now, the capers will give you that saltiness flavor that you get with a lot of the salmon. Salmon and capers work very well together. And the dill will actually enhance the flavors as well too. Why don't you grab me another bowl there? Beautiful. A little bit of dill. I love dill and fish. It goes and you so know what? Well I'm gonna chop these capers up a little bit here, Joe. Now, do you want me to put the salmon in here, or are we gonna wait for? Yes, please. Okay. I'm gonna chop up the capers here. Now I'll start putting the salmon in here. What kind of salmon do we have? We have some nice sockeye salmon there, Joe. Okay. Now that's an Atlantic salmon? Atlantic salmon. Now, it's in a colder water, so it's actually going to have a little bit more fats. Now the reason why the Atlantic salmon has more fat and a little more, a little more beneficial for you is that, it, like Ramel was saying, it comes from a colder climate, meaning that the water is cold, so the fish actually produces more fat to stay warm. That fat is more omega oils for you. Now season this. Always season your food. A little salt and pepper. A little salt and pepper. And we're going to add a little egg in there. Now, salmon is pretty common in a muscle building diet. I'm assuming you eat salmon quite often. That's quite why. often. Now, this is a pretty unique way of having salmon because, I mean, you can have baked salmon, we've seared salmon, we've all kinds of different sources, but I mean, a salmon burger is a nice way to add a little twist or kind of treat yourself to, you know, incorporating salmon into the diet. Now, you have the salmon, you have the capers, you have the egg, the dill. Missing now, we're going to add our bind, exactly. Okay. A little bit of a. Uh, let me guess the dirty work again. Exactly. Okay. So you have the 12 grain bread with the almond milk. So what we're going to do is do another four ounce burger here. Roughly about the same size as what we have there. So we have some extra lean ground chicken and some sage. The sage is actually a really nice way to enhance the flavors of any type of poultry or white meat. Now extra lean ground chicken is also another way that you can slice some fat. Regular ground chicken will give you about 12 to 15 grams of fat, whereas extra lean will only give you about six grams. That's great. Can you grab me that bowl, Joe? I just washed my hands. Oh well. Dirty work again. Exactly. Your extra lean ground chicken. Okay, what do we have there? We have some nice chopped sage. That smells fantastic. We're going to add some egg to that. Thank you. And we're going to add our bind of 12 grain bread and almond milk. Always, always, always make sure you season your food. Now, how are we going to cook these off today? We're going to grill them up, Joe. Okay, so let's get our grill nice and hot. And again, we're going to try to take this. Now, Okay, so we have our three burgers ready here. I'll let you take care of the rest while I wash up again. Okay. We have some 12 grain whole wheat buns here that are really quite nice. Now there's also different buns that are out there which are a little bit more flatter, almost like a pita type of bun, which is also really nice if you want to cut down the carbs. Okay, Joe, now that the grill is nice and hot, we're gonna add our nonstick spray. And we're going to place our burgers. The honors. Okay. So the first one here we have is the beef burger. What's in there again? We have some silken tofu, some Worcestershire, a little bit of herbs, and we have some salt and pepper as well too. Actually, lean ground chicken has some sage, some salt and pepper, and of course our bind, Joe. And then we had the unique little salmon burger here. With a little bit of capers and a little bit of dill. Nice. Now how long are these going to take to cook, Ramel? Roughly about uh, 15 to 12 minutes. For all of these? All of this. And then the salmon? The salmon is going to take a little less time because it doesn't have to be fully cooked. Okay, so we got about 15 minutes for this to finish cooking, which is about the same amount of time we have for the sweet potato. So when we come back, these will almost be done. The sweet potatoes will be ready to come out of the oven, and we'll show you how to incorporate burgers and fries to a muscle building diet. Body Fuel is back with our version of our three different burgers done three different ways, plus 
our low-fat sweet potato fries. Mind getting those out of the oven? I'm gonna grab them right now. Great. Now those have been in the oven at 350 for 20 minutes. Our burgers here, oh those look great, smell fantastic too. We have our extra lean ground beef, our extra lean chicken, plus our salmon burgers. These have been cooking now for about 12 to 15 minutes and they're pretty much done. So let's start putting this together. Okay, first of all, we have our beautiful buns here and we're gonna make one with your typical burger. Okay. And then put a little Dijon mustard there, okay. And we're gonna add our regular burger there. Now what's great about this is we use extra lean ground beef. And to give it a little bit more moisture, we added some silken tofu. Now this extra lean ground beef is saving about three times the amount of fat as regular ground beef. Now we're adding a little bit of uh, Boston bib lettuce. Some nice vine ripened tomatoes. Some vine ripened tomatoes, exactly. And some really nice sweet onions by using the red onions. Now that's a beautiful burger. Burger number one that. out of the way. Burger number one is right there. Now burger number two, we're gonna show you a different way of having a hamburger. If you wanna cut a little bit of the carbs out of your hamburger, what you can do is what we call an open face burger. So what we're gonna do here with our chicken burger, you want the chicken or you want the salmon? We'll do the chicken with this one. Okay. We have some Dijon mustard again. Yep. Get that on there. Our lettuce, our Boston bib lettuce, our tomatoes. So a very easy way of cutting half the carbs out of your burger is just using half the bun. So you have half the bun and you have a beautiful extra lean ground chicken in there and some sage to give it a little bit more flavor in there. Now regular ground chicken will give you about 12 to 15 grams of fat whereas the extra lean is only about 6 grams of fat. Now can I grab that sure. spatula for me? This is the salmon burger. Now it's really nice and lean. We're going to put our Dijon mustard on top of that again. Some Boston bib lettuce, some tomatoes, and our onions. Now for those of you who are looking to cut out some carbs, so possibly you know prior to competition you're looking to lose a little bit of fat or you're just being a little more carb conscious, you can still get a great meal, high protein with a nice salmon burger and get some nice complex carbohydrates from your sweet potatoes. Why don't we grab those sweet potato fries there, place that on top there. Okay. Now these smell absolutely fantastic. Now to change up our fries, we added sweet potato fries instead of regular fries and we used a little bit of uh, cinnamon and maple syrup. Now next time you think that burgers and fries have no place in a bodybuilding diet, you are dead wrong. Thanks to Body Fuel Chef Rommel, we have three different burgers on three different ways. Now the nice thing about this meal here is if we're looking at this burger, which is pretty comparable to a quarter pound burger with fries at a fast food restaurant, instead of 1,200 calories and 60 grams of fat that you would get there, Chef Rommel has prepared a great meal that only has 400 calories, 30 grams of muscle building protein and less than 10 grams of fat to keep you lean. That's a lot less. Not only that, but you know what you've done? You've added so much flavor and taste to this that I don't even want to go to a restaurant. I'd rather eat this. So would I, Joe, because you know what? You have a lot more variety here as well too. You have a regular beef burger, you have a chicken burger and a salmon burger. So next time you're thinking about cheating on your diet, well you know what? You don't have to. We have all the flavor and all the nutrients you need to keep building muscle and staying lean.